what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys this one's going to be a basic one um this is this is simple man this is simple this is as simple as it get as it gets and this is super super powerful okay so um i speak to i i mean again you if, if you've caught any of my previous videos man i say this over and over and over and over again i speak to so many freaking small business owners and majority of them will have some type of of, of experience running a facebook ad but 10 out of 10 of them ran it the wrong way. And that's just the bottom line. And I truly believe it starts here. Now this video isn't gonna be on exactly choosing the right objective, but this is where it all starts, okay? This is where it all starts. You can have the best ad, you can have the best targeting, you can have the best image, the best video, the best text, the ad copy, it gets people to click, learn more. You can have all that going for you, but if you choose the wrong objective, and and you were expecting one outcome but the but but the outcome was complete was something completely different you're going to be pretty upset because you did not choose the correct objective so i have other videos on 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 that but what i want to talk to you today about is this basic basic targeting when it comes to targeting like this right here is is something that, that you definitely want to keep in mind so depending on the objective let's say we go with traffic and then we come over here to the ad set and now we have the placements we have the budget we have the calendar we can set a calendar if we want um we have we have the section where we can now include or exclude any custom audiences any look-alike audiences all that magic happens right here right but this video again is on the targeting so many people you know will have this part wrong and again depending on what you're trying to do that's where all this stuff makes 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 the most you know is, is is the most important so for example there's three basic and i and i'm going to type this out for you three basic facebook ad targeting and these are the three so number one is going to be interest where you can come on here to facebook and you can target a specific interest so let's say we are let's say we have an e-commerce business we're selling stuff on a website whether it's shopify or any other type of, of of website platform and we're selling physical products and let's say for example we are in the let's say let, let's say we're in, in 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 the pet you know we sell dog accessories we sell collars and leashes and things like that right we can come in here and we can type in dog and we can go after every single person who has an interest in dogs. That's one major, major popular targeting, and that's nothing new, right? That's, that's super basic. That's, that's what we call interest. Or the second one is you can target, you could target anyone in that, in, anyone in that industry or anyone in that niche based on their job title so if we want to go after any other type of specific person maybe we come over here and rather than talk typing in dogs interest we talk we type in dog trainer let's see if that populates anything and that populates job title okay so now and here's what you're going to want to do here is the the exact strategy on how you if, if and again all you do is plug and play make this relate to your current business whatever business you're offering it's the same exact three strategies second one is is going after the job title okay targeting everyone in that job title and 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 creating this as a second ad set okay one ad set you're going to set up the ad from from campaign to ad set to the ad you're going to set up the ad and then you're going to come into the ad set and duplicate it and you're going to create a second ad set and the second one is going to be dog trainer Okay, and now we're going after job title. Okay, now we're going after job title. The third targeting is going to be, the third targeting is going to be competitor. Competitor. So anyone in that field who is a direct competitor, competitor to me, and I'm talking about a big one. So for example, if I was selling dog products, on my own little solopreneur website, a Shopify website or whatever it may be, okay? My direct competitor, which would be most likely a huge, and I'm looking for the huge one, I'm looking for the big one, I'm looking for the nationwide brand name. My competitor would be PetSmart. 
this would be the second targeting. So for example, what I can do is I'm not going after employer. I'm not going after school. I'm going after interest in PetSmart. People who have expressed an interest in or like pages related to PetSmart. So now I'm following a group of people who follow the main brand, like the main household competitor. Okay. Um, in me, in my case, I go after entrepreneurs, right? I'm, I'm getting to a bunch of people to come to this page, FB ads for beginners, right? This is the link that you see in the description, right? When I come over here and run a Facebook ad to this webinar, okay, people come over here, they hit the blue button, they opt in, right? They opt in, they're then taken to a thank you page, right? They're then taken to a thank you page. This right here, I could be targeting people. I could be running Facebook ads to get people over here and, and my competitor, what I can do is I can maybe target, I could target maybe Gary V. Because anyone who follows Gary V is for sure some type of entrepreneur. I can come over here and, and, and this is gonna be my third ad set. So if I'm spending $5 a day per ad, now I'm spending $15 per day because now it's $5 a day per ad set. But here's the deal. After a few days, I'm going to look at the data and I'm going to shut off whatever ads, ads are not performing. So if I'm running three at a time, most likely, who knows, all three of them could be popping off. And if they are, shit, leave them on. But if, 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 if two out of three or one out of three are popping, then you turn off the two and leave that one on, right? So, so this one, I can go and, and I could target people who follow Russell Brunson. Anyone who follows Brunsel, Br Russell Brunson is most likely an entrepreneur and they're most likely someone that is just like me who is interested in paid traffic and running Facebook ads. And, 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 and if that's the case, I can easily target a competitor, a brand name in, in the industry and, 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 and go after everyone who, who, who is following that person. So those three right there, you guys, you can crush it with those three Facebook ad targeting alone, okay? Now, in the very, 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 very beginning, when you start doing this, number one, you wanna make sure before you run your next ad, here are the requirements. Here's what you wanna do, here's what you have to do for sure, okay? These are requirements. Requirements. These are requirements, okay? So the requirements are, I can't even spell, okay, so requirements, are going to be number one set up set up pixel facebook pixel okay number two you're going to set up custom conversions and then number three you're going to set up custom audiences Okay, you're gonna set up custom audiences. Okay, those are the requirements. So that's what you gotta do for sure, okay? Set up custom audiences. This is the requirements before you even come over here to any type of targeting, okay? So set that up first. But once, once those are all set up, man, you, you start creating custom conversions around everyone who's landing on the thank you page. You create custom audiences of everyone who is landing on your landing page. You create custom audiences around people who purchase your product. You create custom audiences around those who, who, um, 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 yeah, in this case, it's just this one funnel. So you're creating custom audiences for both people who landed here, people who landed here, also a custom conversion of people who landed here and your Facebook pixel is tracking it all. Okay, so once you once you set up the back end, which is these requirements, pixel, custom conversions, custom audiences, then you can come in here and start running some ads, man. And and that's how you want to break it down. On the interest, do one at a time. Do one at a time. Go after go after a competitor, people who are interested in following that competitor, go after a main brand like the pet smart, and then go after the main interests of the industry. And, and, and those are three different ad sets, all one ad, one campaign. And, and also what you can do is create multiple images, multiple ads. So, so you can split test. What I'm telling you, telling you to do is split test the ad set, 
create one for Brunson Brunson, create one for freaking PetSmart, create one for freaking um, just dogs in general, the interest, right? You get what I'm saying? So create three different ad sets, but then also you may want to choose three different images or three different even videos, or maybe the same video, but different text, different headline. And that's how you split test. So multiple ads, multiple images or videos or multiple, you know, variations of the text of the copy. And then multiple ad sets is how you want to do it. So when it's all said and done, if you were running, let's just say four ads at a time, five, five dollars per day for each, there's your $20 per day. So rather than putting $20 per day on one single freaking ad, you're going to put $5 per day on four different ones. And that's how you do it. Okay. So that's what I wanted to cover with you guys. Basic Facebook ad targeting and, and requirements before you even get that far. Um, these three requirements. And um, if you're new to all this, you guys, there's a link in the description, fbadsforbeginners.com. I'm putting together a simple, simple training course that will really help you guys with these most important basics. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. fbadsforbeginners.com. Link is in the description.